<clears throat> Cue Zelda music. Ah! I apologize for the terrible audio quality and also my hair looking like a nightmare. Hey, buddy, can I have a second? Okay, thank you. Walmart was supposed to drop off my Splatoon Switch yesterday and today. It'll leave it at the door, but they keep missing me. I was home today. So now I gotta try and find it. So we're gonna hit a couple Walmarts and see if I can find them. I need to make a video. I'm gonna buy it twice now, Walmart. Thank you. My hair looks far too ridiculous today. I'm wearing a hat. So I've checked two Walmarts already. Forgot to vlog. Now I'm at Target and they also don't have them here. So two Walmarts and a Target. Now a GameStop is my last hope. If it ain't here, I'm gonna have to wait for it to be delivered. I'm gonna have to like set up armchairs in front of my house and just wait all day for the delivery guy who apparently is ringing the doorbell and running right away. He's checking the back. Looks like we do. You do? Yeah. Oh, sick. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Yeah, have a good one. Thank you. I always got to film so sneaky in GameStop and I feel really bad about it. I think you could tell I was filming, but I'm trying to do a job here, you know? I actually can't believe I found it. I'm actually really excited. This is easily the nicest looking Switch I've seen. Thanks, GameStop. Okay, I've rushed home. <laughs> And I, oh God, I almost slipped on the carpet. I've got to set up now <laughs> and uh, unbox this bad boy. I'm really excited. So hopefully it won't take too long to get ready. All right, I'm ready. <laughs> oh, aren't we all just having a blast watching this video right now? I mean, I hate to interrupt it, but can we call attention to the level of skill that it took to create this video between me and my editors, you know, putting it all together for you guys, just a ton of skill that we're all sharing around. <clears throat> you could learn some skills using Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of online classes and members across 150 countries. Skillshare is a place to learn new things, to get inspired. And whenever I use Skillshare, it's typically to learn new editing techniques. I mean, Geordie has an array of classes I enjoy taking on Adobe Premiere, Adobe After Effects, and a lot of the things you see in my videos I've learned through those courses. But there's far more than that. You can learn how to be a great YouTuber, but thanks to Marcus Brownlee, but you can also learn photography or cooking or language. So if you're interested in making a career pivot or leveling up skills in your current role, Skillshare is the online learning community for you. Best parts are it's ad free so you can stay in the zone while you're exploring new skills. New premium classes launch every week so there's always something new to discover. And the first 1000 of you to click my specific link in the description down below will get a 30 day free trial of Skillshare. Free. Look, it's as easy as that. Do it for yourself. Do it to support the channel. And I appreciate you guys so much. Let's head back to the video. I really did not expect to find this. When I got to the GameStop, the kid looked at me like, it's not out yet. The Splatoon is not out yet. I was like, no, no, the OLED, man, the OLED. He's like, I don't, I don't know, I'll check the back. I used to work at Bunnings Warehouse, which is a hardware store in Australia. And whenever I said, I gotta check the back, that was just me like making it look like I was doing something for the customer. Probably going out back and talking with my friend for like 30 seconds and then going, that's probably enough time. It seems like I looked for something back here. But sure enough, he came back and he scanned it through and I bought it. It's crazy. Um, Walmart sucks. But uh, now I have two. What, what am I going to do with the other one, guys? Should I resell it like one of those guys? Make some money? Or should I be nice and um, give it away to you guys? <clears throat> eBay.com. Yep. Oh, you, oh, you, you're saying you got, oh, I thought you were saying you sell it. <laughs> eBay. I don't need to, and I love you guys. I'm legit gonna give the other one away. Did I even tell that story, or did I just assume you guys know what's been happening to me the last couple of days? I ordered this from Walmart, and it was supposed to get here yesterday, but no one was home, I guess. So they tried again today, and I was home, and I watched them on my doorbell camera, stand at the door, and then walk away. I need you to like the video if you want to win. Be subscribed and leave a comment down below with why you should win. And I'll pick someone at random in the comment section. Although, I will say, be careful down there. If you get replies from an account that isn't me saying you've won something, that isn't me. Okay, make sure it's this guy talking to you. Anyway, I'm really excited to open this. This is easily the nicest looking Switch I've seen. Although I haven't seen it yet, but you know, I have. There's a picture of it right here. <clears throat> Cue Zelda music. Oh, 
yeah, those look pretty nice. I like the right one the most. It's just so vibrant. Scream Splatoon for sure. Oh my god, these are actually really cool. Okay, there's two things here that I love. The first is a gradient. I don't know if we've ever had officially released Joy-Cons that have a gradient color. This one has green and then gradients up to yellow. And then this one with that lighter purple gradiating up to a darker blue or more of a indigo color. And then on top of that, you have just the really awesome Splatoon prints all over it. I love the designs and the little squids. And then on the back here, you even have white and then little like suction cups. So they really went all out on this special edition. I think easily the coolest one they've done. But it doesn't stop there because the back of this Switch is also supposed to be really cool. It has a bunch of the same designs from the Joy-Cons all over the back of the Switch. I mean, it's just really nice. I really actually want to start using it for a couple of reasons. But one, I've been using my white OLED since it released because it's so nice looking. But the white is getting dirty. I don't know what to do about it. But at the same time, I don't want this to get dirty. It's just so freaking cool. I can't get over it. And then finally, the last thing that should have a pretty cool design on it. We have another white dock, like with the white OLED. Wait, oh, it's two-toned as well. Man, they literally went all out on this thing. There's just so many layers to it. More of that awesome design, which you can't really feel feel it, but it looks like it's raised up almost. A big splooch of paint right here on the front. More design on the back, which I didn't expect. And then that two-tone with the black and white again. Man, that is just so cool. It really is just the nicest looking everything I have seen from Nintendo. I don't know how they can top this with a Zelda one. With a Zelda one. Yeah, nah, yeah, a Zelda one. With this much love and care and like two tones and gradients. Nintendo, please. I'm really in two minds here, but I feel like I've got gotta make this my main switch, right? Retire the white OLED already. Man, I move through switches like I move through bows. <laughs> that didn't make sense. Man, I move through switches like I have bow movements. I <laughs> Every day I feel like I have a new one. You can't get mad at me because I'm giving away one. It all evens out. Actually, Kim, bless her heart, she was already out today and I asked her to try finding me this platoon switch at Targets and stuff looking for something else. She hasn't got my message yet that I found one and I'm really worried she's gonna come home with another one. That would be wild, man. I'd have two to give away. <laughs> While I log into this thing and start setting it up a little, let's talk about Splatoon 3 the game while I have your attention here. The first Splatfest was yesterday as I'm recording this and it was a bunch of fun. It was like like a 12 hour event. You had plenty of time to jump in. I played for three hours. I recorded pretty much all of it. And I mean, it's just fun. Okay, how do I word this? Leading up to it, I was a big advocate for this platoon looks so different to the previous platoon. People were saying, oh, do we really need this one? It looks the same. And I had the games back saying, no, oh, it's so different. Um, The beta test, I gotta be honest, felt very, very much like Splatoon. It felt like it didn't skip a beat. It felt as great as it's always been, I will say as someone who is more of a casual Splatoon player, I didn't notice any differences. And I'm hearing that pretty much across the board. And I feel like if you really want to dive into it, you have to be a big Splatoon pro player to really feel that difference between the two as far as how they play. The thing is, the game's not out yet. And most of the extra content that's going to make this game worth buying is all the extra modes and accessories and just things they've jam-packed into the release. And of course, the single player. All of that you don't get to experience just with this beta test, essentially. All you get in that is the online modes of the tri-splat and the single splat. So we can talk about those, but I will say I haven't changed my opinion. I still firmly believe that this game is going to be very different and worth having the new one. But just based on this alone, this stripped down version, it did feel a lot like Splatoon. So I don't know if that test went a long way to convince anyone. Hold on, I got to sign into my Wi-Fi now, apparently. Oh, I got to log into my Nintendo account. I don't know why I don't save my my Nintendo account password anywhere. I don't really save any of my passwords anywhere. I just have to go through the rigmarole of resetting my password anytime I want to do anything. I'll be right back. But as far as what I could experience last night, the basic splat mode, just paint versus paint, was a ton of fun. And I played with Bob for like an hour last night and we won a lot. It was pretty good. I gotta say, I still feel like the guns in the game are the most powerful, especially the main splat gun. I feel like they're just so strong and I was struggling with anything else. The bucket was a nightmare, just so slow. The one I had the worst time with was the massive machine gun type thing. Apparently you have to charge it up 
up before you can fire it, which just led to me trying to charge up my shot to do anything and ended up getting splatted while I was mid-charge. And then the sniper rifle I wanted to like, but what I don't get is the sniper rifle, you have to charge that too to get the big shot. And the big shot doesn't even go that far and it scopes in and you lose mobility. But with the new katana blade, you can charge that up. It charges in a heartbeat and it goes further and spreads more paint than the sniper shot. And then the katana can also do like actual attacks and stuff. I feel like a lot of these weapons need balancing. And again, that's why they do Splatfest tests like this so they can balance check everything and see how it all plays out. I'm sure the game's gonna change a lot before it finally releases. I'm gonna have to install all of my games again. God, do I really wanna commit to this right now? <sighs> Yes, fine. System update, update. The new tri-splat mode is wild. I don't know how I feel about it yet. It's just so chaotic. You have four players versus two players versus two players. And from what I gather, if one of the two two-player teams win, that whole section of the game wins so that to both the two teams win, that's ridiculous, right? Like, yeah, that's so outweighed and against their favor, but they can get these like sprinkler towers around the world. I I'm gonna review this game correctly when it comes out. I'm I'm just giving first thoughts right now. You can get these little umbrella sprinkler things if they manage to capture a point and then that just sprays paint everywhere and it's pretty much GG at that point. I don't know what you're supposed to do to stop that. I only ever played on the four side though. In my like three hours of playing, I never got put on the side with two. So I don't really have experience on how any of that works. I just knew when it happened to me, I hated it. Okay, so I think it's updated. Link Nintendo account. Oh, if I do this though. Oh God. I was going to try. Mm. Damn it. I was gonna try setting up just a new account and linking it and then playing Splatoon on this new Switch and not worrying about the whole thing right now. And then I remembered Splatoon actually isn't out yet. The Splatfest ended last night. So there's no reason for me to set this up yet. I actually can wait a few days if I want. So I guess I may as well. I wanted to get Splatoon playing on this for the video. I thought that'd be really cool B-roll. I guess now I'm gonna have to install YouTube on it and get B-roll of the game on YouTube is really the only way I can get a nice shot of that. I do really love it though. It is a real shame that Splatoon missed that summer window. This just would have been a fantastic game to pop off in the hot season. Imagine like it released a couple months back, mid-summer, when everyone's on school holidays, you know, they have work off vacations and you're playing Splatoon in the sun near the pool. It is such a summer game. That's my first impressions of Splatoon 3 and a look at this really nice console. I gotta tell you, I really think it adds a lot and it's worth it. If you're weighing this up over a regular OLED, the work here, the craftsmanship, just the way it looks. Really, even if you're not a fan of Splatoon, I think it still looks really sick. You get so much more bang for your buck here with something like this than you would buying the normal version. Splatoon itself releases in a couple of weeks and I will, of course, be grabbing it and playing it. I'll be live on Twitch day one with that sucker. So if you want to watch me there, go over and follow and get ready for it. And I'll get my review out as soon as I can. If you want to win one of these OLEDs, you have to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll pick a comment down below. I think this is by far the best Nintendo switch they've ever made. Obviously, it's a preference thing, and if you like the way it looks, but I love it. All right, where's Kim? I want my pizza. I'm supposed to be getting pizza tonight. Where's my pizza? Hello? Did you find it? Find what? The switch. No. She didn't get one, so I'm only giving one away, but on the bright side, pizza is here now, so... All right, bye everyone, bye. It's 9 a.m. the next day. The doorbell just rang and I like ran because I was like, oh my God. They left it at the door this time. I don't even need to wake up. Oh, I hate you FedEx. Well, this one's for one of you guys. Good luck. Good luck. I could sign it too if you wanted. Just let me know.